I'm Kakeru Koyama from Ibaraki University, Japan. Our research is in theory of high state block boost converter. Today, I'd like to talk about highly extendable in theory of high state block boost converter with automatic current balancing and reduced semiconductor voltage stress for renewable energy system. Here you can see the today's highlights. The proposed converter achieved high state block conversion ratio, automatic current balancing capability, and reduced semiconductor voltage stresses thanks to adding the voltage multiplier VM. Step up conversion ratio and the current capacity in the proposed one can be arbitrarily changed by adding components. And the efficiency at the 350 watt prototype was as high as 92.19%. Here is the outline of my presentation. Firstly, let me explain the necessity of high step up conversion and the problems of conventional interrib conversion. After that, we will propose a new type of interrib boost converter and explain the detailed operation principles and features. And lastly, let me show experimental verification using the 350 watt prototype. Background. Firstly, I'd like to talk about the necessity of the high step up conversion. This figure shows a typical grid connected renewable energy system. In general, PV panels and the fuel cells are low voltage energy sources between 20 to 50 volts. High step up boost converters with a step up conversion ratio of the 8 to 20 are necessary to step up 400 volts DC bus. Additionally, these bus converters should be capable of the large input current because of the huge voltage gap between their input and the output. This figure shows the three-phase interrib bus converter. This topology is well known as a suitable topology for large input current application, but it has three problems. Firstly, this topology needs current balancing control because inductor current, tiesta core, phase current are imbalanced due to component tolerances and mismatch duty cycles D among phases, resulting in the current concentration and increased current stresses of components. Thus, to balance feed currents, additional feedback control loops and the current sensors are required, increasing the system complexity and the cost. Secondly, the voltage stresses of switches and the diodes in this topology are equal to a full output voltage VR. In general, switches on resistance and the diodes forward voltage are proportional to this breakdown voltage. Consequently, high voltage stresses of switches and the diodes tend to be lower power conversion efficiencies of converters. Finally, this topology has to operate with an extremely high D operation. As you can see, step up conversion ratio of this topology. D is required greater than 0.88 to step up between 20 to 50 volts into 400 volts. The extreme D operations increase the current stresses of components and the losses. To solve this problem, an interleaved high step up boost converter using the switcher capacitor structure has been proposed. This topology can arbitrarily change step up conversion ratios by extending the number of voltage multiplier VM stages and achieve automatic current balancing thanks to the charge conservation of the capacitors. However, since capacitor voltage stresses serve as the number of VM stages increases, this topology needs to be redesigned with properly selecting capacitors, therefore impairing the extendability. In addition, when the number of VM stages in this topology is even, phase currents cannot be balanced. Proposed interleaved boost combatter. Let me explain the proposed interleaved boost combatter. The three phase three stage TF tackle 3P3S topology is derived from the combination of the three-phase interleaved boost converter and VM stages. Phase A comprises a component with a subscript A, and the first stage consists of components with a subscript 1. The proposed converter has four features. Firstly, as shown in this equation, the step-up conversion ratio of the proposed one can be enhanced by extending the number of VM stages, as well as switcher capacitor structure. In case, Stepping up 20 to 50 volts into 400 volts in the 3P3S topology, D is less than 0.85, avoiding the extreme D operation. Secondary, voltage stresses of switches and the diodes are reduced lower than two sides of VR. Thus, low voltage semiconductor devices with low on resistance and low forward voltage can be used. Thirdly, 
by applying the church conservation of capacitors, phase currents are automatically balanced. Therefore, no additional feedback control loops, no current sensors are necessary for current balance, reducing the system complexity and the cost. Lastly, the proposed converter has high extendability. The next we'll discuss the extendability. Step up conversion ratios and the current capacities of the proposed converters can be arbitrarily changed by extending the number of BM stages and the phases respectively. These figures show extended topologies from the 3P3S topology. A step-up conversion ratio of the 3P4S topology is four times higher than that of conventional boost converters. The current, current capacity of the 4P3S topology is larger than that of the 3P3S topology because of the increased number of phases connected in the power. Therefore, thanks to the enhanced design flexibility, the proposed converter can be applied to various kinds of low voltage, large current renewable energy sources. Operation principle. Here, let me discuss the operation mechanism and the voltage stresses of components. In the 3 p 3 topology, three switches QA to QC operates with an interweaving manner 120 degrees out of phase and these larger than 0.33, achieving the interweaving operation and the automatic current balance. Due to the time limitation, this presentation discusses only the case these larger than or equal to 0.67 and the rest of them run. The rest of the figure shows the voltage of switches and the diodes, phase current waveform. During mode 1, all switches are on and all inductors store energy. In mode 2, QA is tender when the current flowing down capacitors is defined as a charge. ILH charges capacitors in phase A and discharges capacitors in phase C. The voltage of CA1 is equivalent to the output voltage of the ordinary boost converter and is feeding over 1 minus D. Considering voltage across diode, voltage stresses of phase C first stage and phase B second stage are two sides of V out. Furthermore, the voltage stresses of other semiconductor devices are one side of V out thanks to capacitors. In mode 3, QB is off. ILV charges capacitors in the phase B and discharges capacitors in the phase A. CB2 is charged by the CA1 with a voltage of V in over 1 minus D and its voltage is V in over 1 minus D. The voltage of CB1 is equivalent to the output voltage of the ordinary boost converter and is V over 1 minus D. In addition, considering voltage across diodes in the same way as mode 2, the voltage stresses of phase A first stage and phase C second stage are two sets of V out. In mode 4, QC is only turned off. ILC charges capacitors in a phase C and discharges capacitors in a phase B. Since capacitor voltages in a phase B are charged to V in over 1 minus D during mode 3, the output voltage V out is 3 V in over 1 minus D. By considering voltage across diodes, voltage stresses of phase A second stage and phase B first stage are two sides of V out. In summary, Except for the input and output smoothing capacitors, all capacitors are charged to the V over 1 minus D. Therefore, the step up conversion ratio of the 3P3S topology is three times higher than that of conventional boost converters. In addition, thanks to capacitors, voltage stresses of semiconductor devices are reduced less than two sides of V out. Finally, I'll explain the current balancing mechanism. In the proposed converters, phase currents can be automatically balanced thanks to the charge conservation of BM capacitors. On the other hand, since currents flowing through the capacitors are branched at the each node, these currents are different. That's why we are unable to prove the current balancing mechanism from the current flow. So, as shown in the equivalent circuit, we will verify the current balancing mechanism by deriving the amount of charge applying the charge vector analysis. The amount of charge flowing through the capacitors is derived from the charge vector analysis. These figures show the equivalent circuit and the current flows in modes 2, 3, and 4. The first current load at A to F nodes, the following equation are due 
due to the time limitation, the detailed calculation is omitted. Although, assuming that the rod is a constant current source and defining output current I out as follows, the equation 2 and 3 are derived respectively. Thus, this determinant is derived by combining these equations. The amounts of charge stored capacitors in the phase A to C, QS to QC are equal from this determinant. As shown in this equation, the amount of charge is converted into the current. Therefore, all average currents IRA to IRC are equal in this equation, demonstrating the automatic current balancing capability of the proposed converter. Experimental verification. We conducted the experimental verification using the 350 watt prototype. The number of VM stages in the prototype can be extendable up to four stages by adding capacitors and diodes. This is the experimental condition. The input voltage V in was 24 volts and the output voltage V out was 400 volts. The right figures show the voltage waveforms of the switches and the first stage diodes in the 3 piece wheel topology at a full row. Although this slide shows the sum voltage waveforms due to the time limitation, these voltage stresses were 270 volts and 130 volts respectively. Therefore, these voltage stresses were reduced approximately less than two thirds of the V-out. The next will show the phase current waveform in the three-piece wheel topology, as shown in this condition. Duty cycles of switch QA, DA was intentionally severely mismatched to other D. Rest of figures showed current waveforms of the matched D and the mismatched D. In comparison with IRA in matched D, IRA in a mismatched D was slightly imbalanced. However, phase current imbalance of the three piece wave topology was sufficiently reduced more than phase current imbalance of the conventional interleaved converters. Finally, we got output characteristics and periconversion efficiencies. As shown in the rest of the figure, the vertical line is step up conversion ratio. The horizontal line is a duty cycle D. Dashed lines are theoretical values and the circles are experimental ones. These conversion ratios agreed well with the theoretical ones. And thus, these conversion ratios could be changed by extending the number of BM stages. The right figure shows the power conversion efficiencies in the three piece real topology. The vertical line is the efficiency, the horizontal line is the output power, the rational lines are calculated values derived from the loss analysis, and the circles are experimental ones. Although slight efficiency errors were observed under the right road and the heavy road condition. Uh, these condition efficiencies were approximately matched with calculated one. In addition, the efficiency at the full load of 350 watt in the 24 volt was as high as 92.90%. Let me summarize the presentation. We have proposed the highly extendable interleaved high step up boost converter. The proposed converter avoids extreme D operation thanks to adding the voltage multiplier. PM. In the proposed converters, semiconductor voltage stresses can be reduced less than two thirds of VR due to VM capacitors. Phase currents in the proposed runs are automatically balanced thanks to the charge conservation of VM capacitors. A step up conversion ratios and the current capacities in the proposed runs can be arbitrarily changed as the number of VM stages and phases increases is respectively. We conducted experimental verification using the 350 watt prototype and its results demonstrated efficacy of the proposed one. The efficiency at the full load of 350 watt was as high as 92.90%. Thank you for your attention.